The prophecy for Uganda is number three. Can we clap hands for Uganda? Let's clap hands for Uganda. I prayed for the Ugandans uh, starting last year. I have been praying for them. And I gave another prophecy last week. Uh, but one before I went to Kenya, I think about a month before I went to Kenya concerning Uganda. And the Lord is showing me a lot of things concerning the country of Uganda. Now, Ugandans, if you are there and you are watching, hallelujah, those on my right, let's clap hands for Uganda. Let's clap hands for Uganda. Let's clap hands. Clap hands for Uganda. Hallelujah. Clap hands for Uganda. We welcome Uganda online. Now, if you are from Uganda, listen to what the Lord is saying. Let me pray. Father, I pray for the Ugandans. Let them have ears to hear the pastors that are in Uganda. We thank you, O oh Lord. We worship your name in Jesus' name. So, when I was praying, this vision came about three times. So, I saw the map of Uganda. And there is an angel that came and turned the map of Uganda. And it turned it three times until it faced northward. So the map started facing northward. And then I was shown the president of Uganda, His Excellency Yoveri Museveni, his heart, the heart of their president. It was like inside his heart there is a desire and he, he has a decision that he wants to make and he thinks maybe it's of his mind sometimes so it's like a secret desire of a person that he wants to live in his place. So it's going to be a surprise if God gives him the boldness to announce that person. Remember there is a time I also sensed that our late president Robert Mugabe had a decision that he wanted to make and I asked the pastors of Zimbabwe to pray and we didn't pray enough. That's why maybe things are the way they are. Because he was supposed to make that decision long back when we were praying. So this is the same thing that I am also feeling and, uh, and uh, seeing in the spirit when I'm praying concerning Uganda. So it's not an easy decision for him. Sometimes he wants to say it out, sometimes he's afraid. Because he's afraid it might offend some of the senior members of his political party. Because it's a shocker. And it's not what many people think in Uganda. So there is a person that God has put in his heart who is in, the, in his middle age. In his middle age, bit. Now, when we are talking of middle age, because people die between 80 to 120. So middle age is between 40 to 60, depending with the lifespan in that nation. So he wants someone who is between 40 to 60 years. So pastors of Uganda, I am asking you to pray. Because if there is no prayer, it can bring good or worse in Uganda situation if that decision is not done in the time and season it is supposed to be done. So it's not easy. It needs a lot of prayer. Uh, and pastors have to pray. And then it will work for Uganda in a surprising way. So there is a decision that your president, Ugandians, wants to make. In fact, it was deposited long back. So he is trying to put some systems so that he may pronounce and release what he wants. But pastors must pray for him to make it boldly and to do it in time. So he is not sure whether he is to do what he is to do is the right thing for Uganda. I think also he is praying for it as well. 
and it's eating him up. He wants to take rest, but he's not sure of Uganda's future, whether this will not create an uprising or a shake. So he wants peace and sanity. That's why he's taking his time. So when he releases the reins of power, he also wants to see Ugandan nation prospering. So I see Ugandans reading newspapers and are shocked if this decision is to be done. So I saw the person God has deposited in President Yoverim Seven's heart. It's not an easy thing. So Ugandan pastors and apostles, that decision has to be made, but there must be prayer for boldness, pray for your president, and there must not be a delay too much because you might end up having what happened in Zimbabwe in 2017 if prayer is not done. So please pray. Can we clap hands for Uganda? Let's clap hands for Uganda. Let's lift hands and pray for them. Father, we are praying in the mighty name of Jesus for Uganda. We bless them, O oh Lord. We release your presence. We release your anointing. We release your power on Uganda. Let your presence come down and let your glory come down, O oh my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus upon the Ugandan nation. May you give them grace and glory as they receive this word. O oh Lord, O oh Father, let them take it serious. O oh Lord, I know some might judge me. O oh Lord, and say, who is this man? But we are praying. Let's lift our hands. We are praying, O oh God, that Uganda may receive the grace and the glory of God. In Jesus' name, may we clap hands and say hallelujah.